about the part-time scientists is that we learned that we had the same problem as them, which was the wheels not working. Um, I like the part-time scientists because they communicate with us and they are they really nice and they give us ideas and they exchange t-shirts with us. One of the things the part-time scientists focus on is educating the community about robotics, just like we do when we're at SUNY IT. Another reason why we like the part-time scientists is because they continually keep the public informed about their progress in their quest to them. They bring back excitement and enthusiasm to space exploration through their innovative successes and their social networking. The part-time scientists have a lot of cool stuff on their website. One of those things is a problem that they had. How are they going to heat their robot lunar night, which can get up to negative 150 degrees Celsius. Now, one of the ideas that they had was to, to heat the robot using a laser, but there was a problem. The Earth's atmosphere caused too much dispersion with the laser beam, so it wouldn't work, but it was still an interesting idea. Another thing we learned from the part-time scientist website is that the sand particles on the moon are so microscopic that they're deadly. If we were not to wear spacesuits like the ones we wear today, uh, it could go into our lungs and most likely suffocate us. These particles could also be found on the earth. They're usually produced from burning substances like wood or coal. Last summer, we had the opportunity to try to contact a few of the Google Lunar X Prize teams around the country, around the world, and uh, the only team that really responded back to us were the part-time scientists out of Germany. And since that first video conference we had with them, we've been in contact with them throughout the last year and into this year. Uh, the kids have been learning some interesting facts about lunar exploration, the problems, also the problems that the team has had. In, in to come first. Okay. Right on, um, how did you get from the start with nothing to the end where you have your final robot? You, you start with, with very um, rough ideas, then uh, you shake some hands and you open it first, but it should, you know, you, know, you need to measure. Part-time scientists have inspired us to continue to learn. Science. Technology. Engineering. Math. And rocket science. Hell yeah. Oh,